Guess who's here, dude? Here, welcome everyone. Today we are going to be ranking every legend in Apex Legends. This is after the season five update, and after season five has dropped. This was created by Tawaii Food. Tawaii Food. So make sure you follow them on Twitter for creating this list. Thank you for creating this list. But yeah, we're gonna be ranking every legend in Apex Legends from main, which is your, you know, this is the this is the legend you choose all the time. Call main is the legend you choose if your main has been taken. Decent, yeah, it's hit or miss. You use them sometimes, you don't use them other times. Trash, you don't really use them. You only use these characters for fun when Apex Legends is really boring. And these leading, get them out of the game. You never use them. That is the categories we have. So, the first one in our list to be entered in our list, sorry, is Lifeline. Now, the problem with Lifeline is she is useless when you compare it to gibraltar when you have lifeline and gibraltar on the same team lifeline is useless because gibraltar can do li what lifeline can do anything you can do gibraltar can do better that's pretty much the same right anything lifeline can do gibraltar can do it better um lifeline's good though a health drone i don't really like a health drone a health drone would be good if it follows you right that's a little buff that lifeline could use health drone follow you we know it has the ability to follow lifeline so i don't get why it just stays in one place like no i'm stubborn i'm gonna stay here chill out here relax here get you know get acquainted with my surroundings stay here chill out all that good stuff i don't get why it can't follow her her tactical could be improved i don't think she's a man because of the fact that gibraltar's better um, and useless when compared to Gibraltar. So I'm gonna stick with Corman. I don't think she's a man. I wouldn't use her all the time. Corman, if my legend, my man was chosen, maybe I would drift to Lifeline. Next is Watson. Now, I was watching people play this game professionally the other day, and a lot of them, a lot of them, probably around 80% of them, had Watson, had a Watson on their team. And I was like, what the hell? Why did they all have Watson on their team? And it made sense. They was using Watson towards end games when your Gibraltars are throwing down ultimates and when your uh, Bangalores are throwing down ultimates. Watson is great for that. Watson is great for avoiding danger, avoiding damage when people are throwing grenades, when ultimates are coming in from Gibraltar and Bangalore and Caustic. She's great for that. Her tactical is great for keeping people out of a certain building if you just want to heal up for a second. She's great for that. Her passive, though, is probably her weakest point. It's useless now after Season 5 because of the charge towers. Everyone can just charge the ultimate ability super quick, instantly, pretty much. So, Watson's passive ability is pretty much useless unless you can't find a charge tower nearby, which is pretty much impossible because there are about 90 every second you go. Everywhere you go, there's about 90 of them. So, that's pretty impossible not to find one. Her passive lets her down, but she's still a man to me. She's still good enough to be a man. Her ultimate is great, and her tactical is great. It's just a passive that lets her down. Next is Mirage. Now, this is going to sound really weird, but before Season 5 dropped, I was a Mirage man, right? I think I was a Mirage man in Season 3, maybe. But in Season 4, I was a Mirage man. After Season 5, I'm no longer a Mirage man. I don't like him. I don't like using him. I feel like it's too confusing in a way. I feel like before Season 5, Mirage was okay. If you know how to use him properly, he's a great legend, right? You had to be very strategic with Mirage before season five and you had to time his decoys perfectly and make them look realistic that was part of the fun and it's ultimate you had to time that perfectly it was all about timing and it was all about thinking with mirages uh with mirage in season four but in season five the game does that for you you can just control it control him and his decoys just follow you and all that he's a very 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 good legend but i liked him in season four because he was more simple He's not a man. He's, he's probably a core man, right? He's, I'm not knocking anything off Season 5 Mirage. He's very good. He's probably better than Season 4 Mirage. It's just, to me, I liked it, liked Mirage when he was more simple. When it was more... When you had to rely more on thinking rather than the game doing it for you. But his t escape is very, very good in Season 5. That is a massive buff for Mirage. And I think it's a very good buff. He's been helped out a lot in Season 5. And he's a very good legend in Season 5. But he's not a man. He's a core man for me. 
Next is Pathfinder. Pathfinder has been ruined in season five the 35 second cooldown is ridiculous i don't care what you say oh yeah but it makes you more strategic with them now that it's 35 seconds it's a grapple it's not like you're sending a nuclear bomb every two, every 35 seconds it's a grapple it gets you up places it can get you down places it can get you out of danger it can get you into a battle it's not a bomb it's not it's not something RP like Bloodhounds Tactical. Bloodhounds Tactical is RP compared to Pathfinders. Why is it 35 seconds to use a grapple? What the hell? What kind of programs that are? I can't use this. I've used it once, but I'm gonna have to wait 35 seconds before I use it again because um because people complained last season that they were that I was getting away from them during battle. What the hell? I don't get it. It even needs to be 20 seconds or 25 30 35 seconds for a grapple is ridiculous <laughs> you're gonna make me wait half a minute for a grapple to recharge so you're gonna tell me that i can listen to the fast part of eminem rap god and the pathfinder's tactical ability still won't be cooled down yet that's what you're telling me i can listen to the fast part of godzilla by eminem and his tactical still won't be cooled down that's what you tell me. It's ridiculous, 35 seconds. <laughs> That's annoyed me in season five. Why? Why was there was no need to change Pathfinder? He was great the way he was. Um, but apart from that, he's all right. He's decent. He's he's not he's not a core man. He's not a man. He's decent. His ultimate's great. Yeah, whoopee do. Tactical absolutely murked him for that. Absolutely, absolutely made Pathfinder terrible because of that. Ah, I'm tempted to put him in trash because his Pathfinder Pathfinder's passive is useless. Uh, great survey beacon. Yeah, you can see where the next ring location is. Great. How many people actually use it? Not many. Right. I've been in games with Pathfinders before, and I'm like, yo, survey beacon here, and they're like, yeah, I'm just not gonna use it. I don't know. Like, ah, I don't know. I'm gonna leave him in decent. I think it would be a bit too harsh to put him in trash. Uh, decent it is. Uh, they ruined him in season five. Also, bring back the peacekeeper as a floor weapon and get rid of mastiff altogether. What are you doing, respawn? Mastiff is stop trying to make people use your mastiff gun. No one wants to use it. Bring back the peacekeeper. Next, we have caustic. Caustic solid. Caustic overall is. It's just a solid legend. Great ultimate ability, gas cloud. Great tactical ability, which is um, his gas traps. What is Caustic's passive? Is it the fact that he doesn't hurt himself off, on, off his own gas traps? Is that is that his thingy? Yeah, so his passive ability is the fact that he can see through his gas clouds and his gas traps and he doesn't get affected by it. That's his passive. The only problem I have with Caustic is you have the use in close quarters. Caustic out in the open is useless. There's no point because you can even throw his gas cloud at someone and they can just go, okay, well, I'm just going to go this way and get out of the gas cloud. Whilst in close quarters, you can pretty much pin people in a room. Are oh, you in that room? Let me block that door with gas trap. Let me throw a glass gas cloud in there and let me block the other door. Boom, you're dead. You're cooked. Done. I've got myself a meal for tonight. He's great at close quarters, right? In, in open space, long range, he's not that good. Close quarters, he's great. I'm going to put in Coleman. He's not a man to me. I, he's, I, I wouldn't give him that privilege. He's not that good. But he's still good enough in case, in in situations where your man is taken, you might choose Caustic. So, yeah, Caustic's very good. He's very solid legend overall. Next, we have Crypto. Get him there. <laughs> Nothing needs to be said on why Crypto is needs deleting from apex legends but he does i don't get how you create this character and go okay we're gonna create this character and he's gonna be a hacker all right what can he hack a door okay what else can he hack nothing nothing else nothing else he can hack he can hack doors and open supply bins oh whoopee do you can't pick stuff up in it though can you nope you can just open them and look at them wow look at that that's a gold body shield oh enemy just took it because i opened it for them oh i can open a door guess who else can open a door a toddler they don't call themselves hackers do they he's trash <laughs> he is a trash 
a legend. He could have been so good. He can be so good. He still can be so good. If they actually zone in on the fact that he's a hacker, they can really, really make him good. Like, he should be able to go on the radar. Someone commented this on my last video. I made a video about how crypto needs buffing. And someone commented that crypto should have the ability to go on the radar from, like, um, what is it? From Bloodhound's scan ability. should be able to go off the radar under that. And not, um, Bloodhound's ultimate ability should be able to go under the radar for that. And I think that's a dope tactical for him to have or a dope passive for him to have but the current state of crypto he's trash watch my video on about about crypto and what buffs he needs i talk about why crypto is trash he's just he's just a trash legend and he needs deleting that's there's nothing else that needs to be said about that next is wraith wraith is a man wraith's always been a man since day one she's been solid she's been solid throughout i don't think she's had many changes if any um great ultimate ability portal great tactical ability which is able to shift dimensions and not take damage great passive ability which notifies you if uh, enemies looking at you if enemies aiming down the sights at you if there's a recent battle that's happened or if enemies near you she's a great overall legend solid solid legend wraith goes in the main category loba loba is the newest legend in apex legends and here's what's going to surprise people this loba is a main for me loba is solid loba is a great legend the best legend we've had in recent memories right ever since season two right we, we've had mm, support legends and finally in season five we get a great legend which is loba she's got a great tactical a great ultimate and a great passive overall solid the only thing i would buff about loba if anything is her tactical instead of it being this arc where you have to throw and anticipate the arc, which you it's kind of tricky because you have to angle it perfectly if you want to get up a building. It should just be, okay, wherever I point, it should go. And then you can use the RT button to drop down on a building if you want to. Now, that's the only change I would make to Loba's tactical. Apart from that, she is a man. She is great. She is solid. One of the best legends we've had in recent times. That might surprise people. A lot of people hate Loba. She's solid. She's she's sick loba's amazing and i'm not saying that because she's super thick i'm not saying that because she's thicker than some cement that's been left out a few days she's just solid overall next is bloodhound i hate bloodhound i'm sorry i really hate bloodhound i hate being against bloodhound because the scan ability is so annoying right now there is a counter to the scan ability when bloodhound scans you can see which direction the scan comes from and you'll be like okay bloodhound's this way also there's a sound cue but the fact that Bloodhound can scan as much as he can, and the fact that he can pretty much scan the entire map, right? And the cooldown is 20 to 25 seconds. Pathfinder has a grapple, and it's a 35 second cooldown. Explain to me the logic behind that. How can you scan someone, right? And scan, how can you scan an entire map with a cooldown of 25 seconds, but you have to wait 35 seconds for a grapple? that doesn't reveal any locations that is purely for this person's benefit only whilst this tactical for bloodhound is an ability for everyone to see on your team i i don't get that i really don't but to play against bloodhound so annoying but in terms of actually playing as bloodhound bloodhound solid great passive where it's uh where you can see where enemies have been what doors have been open who's been wounded recently if there was a battle recently that's a great passive great tactical that scans uh, the entire map it scans king's canyon and world's edge at the same time that's how much distance it covers great ultimate one of the best ultimates in the game where um where you can pretty much see enemies super 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 clear because they're all targeted red and everything's targeted gray everything else is grayed out um core man though doesn't deserve the main spot it's a core man for me um yeah i don't i don't really have an explanation of why bloodhound's not a man for me i um i just don't see bloodhound as a man they they are very good but not a, not a man to me not not really a, i don't know i guess i guess it could be a man it's a it's toss of a coin really but i'm just gonna keep bloodhound in call man not really feeling the urge to drop bloodhound in man Next, we have Revenant. Revenant, when he was first introduced, was trash because <laughs> he had his ultimate ability. And if he died using his ultimate ability, you would spawn with one health, right? And then pretty much he was dead already because once your shield's gone, you're done. 
Now they've changed that so you respawn with 50 health and Revenant's ultimate is actually more useful. Now, his tactical is still trash. I don't like his tactical at all. The only time I've ever seen his tactical ability effective was when someone used it against me. I was Lorba, right? And I threw my teleportation device to get out of trouble out of trouble and Revenant hit me with the tactical ability so I couldn't use my tactical ability and then Revenant killed me. That's the only time I've ever seen it work correctly because in order for it to work correctly you either have to do it on an unsuspecting target or you have to do it during a fight but at the same time if you're doing it during a fight you risk getting shot at because you can't pull out your gun whilst you're using your tactical so for that reason I don't like his tactical really. Great ultimate ability great passive ability allowing yourself to be stealthy and allowing you to climb higher it allows revenant to capture high ground very quickly i'm gonna put in core man definitely not a man no question about it but I, I don't i feel like he's better than pathfinder which i thought i never would say but yeah core man pathfinder what did they do to they massacred my boy here Ah, I'm, I'm so upset about that one. Mm, I'm so upset I might put it in trash or knees deleting. I'll leave Pathfinder there for now. Next is Bangalore. Bangalore. Bangalore has one of the worst ultimate abilities. Pathfinder, here's what's funny. Crypto's ultimate ability is better than uh, Bangalore's ultimate. And I'm, you might think I'm jogging. Haha, <laughs> good joke to you. I'm dead serious, right? Bangalore's ultimate is trash because what it does, you throw this little um, little signal down, this little flare that says, hey, fire rockets in this direction. And then the rockets stick in the ground and the rockets go, hey, mate, you've got approximately uh, around 15 seconds to get out of here. Yeah, you can go left, you can go right, you can go up, you can go down. Just get out of here. You've got 15 seconds. And then you're out of danger, right? Never witnessed anyone die from Bangalore's ultimate. I've witnessed people get down by it, but never die from it. And the only time I witnessed someone get downed by uh, Bangalore's ultimate was in like season one or two. Apart from that, I've never seen someone die from Bangalore's ultimate. It's just, it's just too much of a delay. It's like, oh, here's a rocket on the ground. I think I should move. Okay, I'm going to move away. There we go. A guy in a wheelchair t could get out of there quicker, right? Before the rocket set off. A guy in a wheelchair could get out of danger before these rockets actually explode. That's how bad our ultimate ability is. A tactical ability, smart grenades, solid. Passive ability, allowing you to speed up when you're in trouble, solid. Ultimate, trash. Now, is she a man? No. Is she a core man? Yes. Next, we have Octane. Octane, uh, I don't know. O o Octane doesn't do it for me. Definitely not a man, definitely not a core man. Octane doesn't do anything special for me. Doesn't excite me to play as Octane. He's more of a nuisance than anything. <laughs> he can be funny there and then. And I like his personality, his persona. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about pure, pure abilities. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. For an ultimate ability to have a jump pad, it seems a bit weak. Um, it's alright, I guess. Tactical ability to speed up, that's okay, I guess. Um, but path, uh, Bangalore has that as a passive. Um, and his passive ability is regen health slowly. That's okay, I guess, but it's not really a major feature um, to use. Um, I don't know. I, he just doesn't do anything exciting for me. Um, is he better than Pathfinder? No. Is he trash? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really... Uh, I wouldn't be mad if I put him here, you know. <laughs> Some people might be mad if I put him in trash, but... Uh, Octane just doesn't do it for me. He's, He's alright. I don't know. I might change that. I might put him in trash in a minute. Uh, but for now, we'll leave him in decent. The last one. We'll leave the biggest fella to last, right? Let's use the big boy to last. Let's leave the big boy to last. And that is Gibraltar. Now, here's what's interesting. Gibraltar has probably had the biggest glow up of the century because in season one and before season one, Gibraltar was trash. He was really trash. But after all the seasons and after all the buffs and after everything that's happened, Gibraltar is solid. Gibraltar is amazing. Better than Lifeline in terms of healing, because like I said, the shield, throw the shield up, you can heal them quickly. You can revive, uh, you can heal yourself quickly, sorry. You can revive quickly whilst it protects you as well from enemy artillery, enemy fire, all that good stuff. 
Lifeline can do that as well. She can revive and and she has a shield, but it can't protect you from grenades or artillery. Whilst Gibraltar can. Gibraltar's ultimate is the best ultimate in the game, by far, no doubt. It's either, if I was to choose the best ultimate in the game, I don't know, it might be Gibraltar or Watson. I don't know. I really don't know. But Gibraltar's ultimate is solid. It, this is how Bangalore's ultimate should be. It should be, okay, throw it down, two seconds later, all hell breaks loose. It shouldn't be, hi, there's a 15 second delay. Do you want to get out of here before I blow up? Shouldn't be like that. Bangalore needs changing on that aspect. But in terms of Gibraltar, passive ability, what's passive ability? I think it's the ability to absorb bullets more. Great passive, um, tactical ability is great. The ability to throw a dorm shield, heal quickly in the dorm shield and revive quickly in the dorm shield. Ultimate is amazing, so man, Gibraltar is a man. Now before I end this video, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna rank them all in terms of best from each category, right? So. This is going to surprise a lot of people, but I think Lob, I think Loba's the best legend in the game. I, I know, I know. You can you can comment and dislike all that good stuff. You can comment your opinion and say how trash Loba is. I think Loba's sick. I think she's the best legend in the game at this current moment in time. I don't know why. I just think she is. Next is probably Watson, and then Gibraltar, and then Wraith. So they're my top four legends of all time. Out of this category, who's the best? Probably, I say Bloodhound's the best, then Bangalore, then Lifeline, maybe. Mm, ah, I put Mirage before Lifeline. Caustic before Lifeline. Mm, mm, no, nah, I'll leave Lifeline there. Revenant before Caustic. No, nah, that's the list, right? Bloodhound first, Blank Bangalore second, Mirage third, Lifeline fourth, Caustic fifth, Revenant sixth. Out of this category, Pathfinder's better than Octane, and yeah, <laughs> let's not even talk about this one down here. But that is my complete list on Apex Legends and who the best legend is in Apex Legends. The best legend is Lower, in my opinion. Comment down below your list, your thoughts, whether you agree with my list or disagree with my list. I'm very curious to see what people think and how people are reacting to this. Lorba being the best legend in the game, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm very interested to see people's opinions. So make sure you comment your list down below. Make sure you comment your opinions. Until next time, I am Thea. I've been Thea. I'm not I'm not Thea. I have been Thea. Until next time, I've been Thea. Put Thea inside your heart. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are representing baby, baby. My knots are sweating. Oh.